Hola, here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what are they thinking about regarding us? Hubba, hubba, bubba. What are they thinking about regarding us? There will be no extended for this, but keep in mind this is a general reading, guys. It may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, give me that thumbs up, because you two be tripping, tripping, man. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. And we'll walk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to get a uh, book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching. Just didn't put those initials on the back of my name. Okay. If you want more information on that, you can find the link to that in the description box below. And if you would like to donate to the channel in any way, you can find all those links down below as well. Please, please, please head on over to TikTok and follow me over there where I do daily messages, singles messages, reconciliation, all kind of stuff. So follow me on TikTok. The name is The Red Pill Pusher. On Instagram, I am The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. And on Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is The Thinking Woman. Choice number two is indecision. You're going to go left or right. You're going to go right or left. You decide. Choice number three is the thinking man. On the count of three, we are going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be the thinking woman? Is it going to be indecision or is it going to be the thinking man? Question today is what are they thinking about in regards to us? And we about to do that damn thing. So universe. People who chose reading number one, the thinking woman. Woo -woo. What is their person thinking about regarding them? Please keep these messages as simple as possible and as clear as possible, universe. What is their person thinking about regarding them? You make your person very nervous. Every time I shuffle these cards, they act a little wild and crazy. You make your person very nervous. What is that person thinking about? People who chose a thinking woman. What is that person thinking about universe regarding them? What is that person thinking about? Oh, first card out. Oh, perspective. What is that person thinking about? What is that person thinking about regarding them, universe? People who chose reading number one, the thinking woman. What is that person thinking about regarding them? Second card out. Ooh, star seed. Come through, number one. Got some star seeds in the house. Welcome to Earth. Two of crystals. I'm a star seed. Two of crystals. Perspective, star seed, and two of crystals. You got two major arcanas in this or from this deck on the board. What's that person thinking about, universe? Regarding them. What's that person thinking about? Please make these messages as clear as possible. Seven of Wands. Ooh. Okay, then. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Let's go ahead and clarify these beautiful, beautiful cards. Let's clarify them with another deck. A whole nother deck, Universe. Would that be all right? Universe, clarify these cards. Clarify these cards because we will not be doing an extended. What is the person thinking about, Universe, in regards to them? What is the person thinking about Please make these messages as clear as possible. What is the first card out? We have the Ten of Wands. Perspective. What is that person thinking about? Emperor. What is that person thinking about? Regarding them. What is that person thinking about? We have the Ace of Wands. 
What is that person thinking about? And we have the hermit. Oh, they thinking. I be thinking. I been thinking. Eight of one. Four of wands and eight of wands. Oh, I be something when that liquor getting to me. I been surfboard. Okay, so <laughs> what is your person thinking about regarding you? Your person is trying to figure out what you're thinking about. Y'all tip the tat up in here. I'm going to sit over here and think. Well, I'm going to sit over here and think. Your person's trying to figure out what's going on with you. What are you thinking about? How do you feel about the situation? What do you want to do? Your person, this can go one of two ways. And I'm going to say this one time and you all figure it out. This can go for somebody from your past or this can be somebody in your now. Um, regardless, your person is just feeling like there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain. And you are guarded. And you're on guard, like you you were surrounded, you were on guard. It's not that you're not accepting of love, it's just that you're not accepting of the bullshit anymore. And you are really firmly grounded in your power and your person is realizing that they can't come to you playing any type of manipulative games, they can't come to you wearing any masks, they can't bring any deceit to your doorstep. Because the minute that they do, they are gonna get peace the fuck out. So your person is realizing that you're very serious about your peace right now, period. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's on uh, the there once Humpty Dumpty set on the wall. That's on any kind of dang mother goose tail you can tell. This chapter in your life is called Peace. And you are not willing to allow anybody into your atmosphere that is going to play games with you, manipulate you, or lower your vibration in any way. And so your person just sees you as being on guard, period and point blank. And because they can't wear masks, because, you know, your person is a little fearful of being vulnerable, but they are coming into the realization that that's all they got. That's all they can do. They can't, they can't play no games. They can't manipulate you. They can't tip for tax you. They can't petty you. They can't ghost you. They can't, cause you'll get the fuck on. You not about that life no more. So whatever's happened in the past, whether it's with this person or somebody else, you are just on guard. You are saying what it is that you want. You are not setting expectations, but you are, you, it's like you are very clear about what you don't want to do again, or what you don't want to interact with, or what you don't want in a relationship. You're very clear about that. And sometimes it takes for us to understand or understand what we don't want to be able to embrace what it is that we do want. And so your person understands or understands, quite honestly, that you have a huge heart. Is there a heart? Yes, there is. Right here inside my chest. Can you feel it pumping, pumping? Right? So like you have a huge heart and you have a lot of love to give, but you have learned your lesson in regards to overextending yourself and overgiving in relationships. That codependent, codependent aspect of you is no longer. That's it. Ain't no punchline of that. It's done. Like you've brought yourself back into balance. And so the control and manipulation that, you know, cause your person is a little bit afraid of you because your person in, in truth, your person thinks that you have more control over them than they do over you. And so once upon a time, they may have wanted to have the upper hand or your person is coming into your life wanting to control how this is gonna go, wanting to be able to call the shots. And that's cool. You can call the shots, homie. You can do whatever you want but it's gotta be in balance. We're not gonna do anything to get reactions. We're not gonna play these games. No, we've moved beyond that. And so your person is just thinking about the barriers that you have up and the guards and the no nonsense and, you know, to move beyond your threshold is truly to come as you are. And those are the only ones that will be accepted. The ones who are unmasked who are allowing their soul to glow who are allowing their true self to shine forth that's it and that's the only way that they will have an opportunity with you and you are very passionate about that and there's nothing for you to think about here 
There's no compromise needed to be made. This is what it is. I will not move from this place of peace, period and point blank. And so your person is really looking at this situation and looking at you with quite a bit of wisdom and quite a bit of maturity. And they are realizing again that they can't play any games with you. They can only play their part. That's it. If you're not gonna show up as who you truly are, you're not gonna show up. And so with that wisdom, they are really with this eight of wands and this four of wands here, true, oh my God, truly wanting to come towards you, wanting to offer something with you. They see something in you that brings a lot of balance and harmony into their lives. And speaking of balance and harmony, underneath those cards, we have the sun card and the harmony card. We also have the six of wands and the fool card. So because you've done the work, and because you have been so diligent with grounding yourself and really being accountable for your actions in past situationships, how you played a part in being in a codependent situationship, like you are really grounded and balanced. And so this, this chapter of peace will make way for a chapter of happiness. You will be very victorious with that new beginning. You know, you're not going to be bewildered anymore. You're not going to be trying to love somebody into life. You're not doing that anymore. You're not asking for anybody to come to you completely healed and whole and holier than thou, but you are asking people and making it known. You can only approach me if you are willing to do the work. And that's what this person is thinking about. They know that. And so they're thinking about approaching you with this offer, moving very quickly because they um, absolutely adore the harmony that you bring into their life, the lesson of balance that you bring into their life. They think that you are um, otherworldly. They think that you offer them a different perspective. They think that you are very wise, that you are able to see clearly both sides of the spectrum, both ends of the spectrum, but you're also able to make a decision that is in your best interest. They think that you are very knowledgeable, very intelligent, and unafraid to transform and move beyond and to elevate beyond the person that you were the moment before. They see you as something cosmically divine something so alluring and and not necessarily are they allured by your physical beauty they are allured by your soul by your inner light and it calls to them and they're so attracted to it and magnetized you you there, there's a chemistry between you all a pull and this person cannot stop thinking about how intrigued they are with you and how they want to do the work. Even though they are afraid, they are, they are coming to the realization that they need to feel the fear, but do it anyway, because you are not one that they want to lose. I mean, we can get all romantic, but there's a very spiritual element to this. Your person wants to begin something um, that they've never began with anyone else with you. They want, they want to create with you or co-create with you something that the world has never seen through you all's eyes. They've never experienced a being quite like you. And they're thinking that they have to rise to your elevation in order to be by your side for whatever purpose you all will live out. And that's what they're thinking. It's very spiritual. Because your elevation is so high right now, they're lifted. It's very spiritual how they're looking at you. It's, an, it's not the mumbo jumbo of a, a, you know, a house and a picket fence or anything like that. It's otherworldly. I can go be with all these different hundreds, millions of fish in the sea. But this one right here? I ain't never gonna find this again. So I better get my shit together. 
And that's what your person is thinking in regards to y'all is raising their elevation so that they can meet you at that star seed level. And quite honestly, the star seed in this deck is the fool card. This person wants to begin something brand new with you where they uncover who they truly are for the very first time. And that's what I got for you. So you guys want to follow me on Facebook. I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. I'm on TikTok. The name is the Red Pill Pusher. And on Instagram, it's the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. But if you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know I'm lost too, you show sure ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. So we're moving on. Cat daddy. So, universe, people who chose indecision. Indecision. What is that person thinking about regarding them? Rush, rush, hurry, hurry, lover, come to me. Why am I singing that? Oh, I used to love that video when Keanu Reeves would talk. Rush, rush, I want to see, I want to see you get free with me. Baby, come close to me. Don't create borders. Take me in comfortably. Don't be difficult. Why am I singing this? What are they thinking about universe people who chose indecision? Baby girl who hurt you. Don't be difficult. You should let me love you. Baby, come close to me. I love Lenny Kravitz. Don't create borders. Take me comfortably. What are they thinking about? What's that person thinking about, universe? What's that person thinking about? People who chose indecision, what is that person thinking about? First card out, we have the King of Swords. What is that person thinking about, universe? What is that person thinking about? People who chose indecision. What is that person thinking about, universe? What is that person thinking about regarding them? Justice. What is that person thinking about regarding them, universe? Ace of Pentacles. And? Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune come through. Number two, come through. Come through, number two, come through. Baby, come close to me. <laughs> Don't create borders. What's that person thinking about regarding them, universe? Indecision. What's that person thinking about regarding them? People who chose indecision. First card out is the tower. <sighs> Three of Cups and ju Justice again. You got Justice clarifying. Wow, Justice at the top and Justice at the bottom. Interesting. And Art or Temperance. Bottom of the deck, oh, we got a couple. Queen of Swords, wow. We got a couple. I get why y'all chose Indecision. So whether this is somebody that you, this, this could very well be a reconciliation, but this can also be somebody new in your life. It can go both ways, quite honestly. What I'm getting here is that you all are at, your person is thinking about this critical point that you guys are at. I think that both of you all are extremely intelligent and I feel like your person thinks that you are a perfect match. King and Queen of Swords and Six of Cups. Um, I think that your person, or I feel like your person is thinking that you all balance each other. Yin and Yang, this is very balanced. You're very intelligent, very um, strategic. You're just, the way you look at life is just so very similar. Um, and there's a lot of transformation that has happened, a lot of growth that has happened with you all throughout the years but you all can be cold and cutting as well it's funny because in both of these cards both the king and queen of swords you both have your swords up and so you guys are guarded towards one another and your person is looking at that 
and really asking like, if we have this deep connection here, this soul tie that we have, this, this thing that, you know, you really can't explain. I feel like there's distance here too. And I feel like your person is missing you. And I feel like this kind of coldness came over you all very unexpectedly. So maybe you all got to a point in your situationship and then suddenly things started stagnating and you guys started really overthinking things too much. Your person is thinking now, like, why are we doing this? Why are we not bringing things back into balance? Why are we not having fun? Why are we not celebrating? Why are we not shifting on into something that is more lighter, more carefree, more fun? Because your person is seeing or realizing that you are their match. You are um, a, a, their perfect match in every sense of the way. And so no matter what they do, it's like, your person is thinking that you both are fighting against the very thing that you both want in different ways. When in truth, you need to bring things back into balance. You need, I mean, you guys are so perfect for each other. And I think that your person is coming to, into this realization shockingly. Like it's, it's just, it, it literally is taking them by surprise maybe even by storm your person can't stop thinking about you your person sees you everywhere that they go your person hears your name your person every moment of their day it just seems like it can be related back to you and so your person is like why are we doing this why why are we so guarded against each other why do we have our swords up why are we ready to break the other down and in the blink of an eye when we really care about each other so very much and for many of you all love each other so very much and that this was a gift from the universe and why are we treating it like this with such disdain with with not i mean we don't it's it's not being honored there's no reverence here there's there's um fear of rejection that you all share fear of abandonment that you all share and it's like you both are afraid to get close to the other which is why i was singing that damn song <laughs> We'll make it all work in the end. It all comes together in the end. They become close. Don't create borders. Take me in comfortably. Don't be difficult. Baby girl who hurt you, don't be miserable. You should let me love you. And I'll have to link that song down below. It's Borders, but Lenny Kravitz is featured in it, but he's not, it's not his song, but it's dope. It's a dope song. But yeah, so like, Baby, come closer. Don't create borders. Why are we creating borders? Why? We, we're wait, we've wasted so much valuable time. Why are we doing this? And I don't feel that your person wants to wait another minute. Oh, cue high five. Because I've been holding back what I feel. So maybe your person has been holding back their true emotions. Maybe you've been holding yours back. Maybe there's a little bit of distance here where you all both are just pretending that you're okay, but you're really not. You're really not okay with however this has progressed for you in your own lives. You're really not okay with that. You really want to be with each other, but you're at a critical point right now. You got to make a decision. Are you going to put the sword down or not? Because the universe, this is karmic in nature. The universe wants you all to shift on to where you're giving to one another and you're celebrating. You got the three of cups right here where you're celebrating. I told you there was some distance and you're passionate about one another. Your person wants to bring you something. They want to gift you with something. And I really think that the gift is I'm saying yes. Will you say yes? I really think the gift is seeing the true gift in one another and shifting out of this harshness and this coldness into, you know, your person sees you as someone who is the bee's knees. You're everything to them. They can't, I mean, they are just so enamored by you and they're showing up as the king of cups. Very well could have been an ending here that they want to move past, but both of you all are playing like it doesn't even matter. But it does. And how long are y'all going to play like this before you bridge the gap in this distance? Your person is thinking about moving towards you. 
because your person is, again, you guys are at this critical crossroads. And you got to make a decision. Are we going to continue with this facade? Are we going to put these swords down and be who we truly are and just say yes to this thing, man? And that's what they're thinking about. And they, they get that it's going to take some transformation and some growth. It, they get that it's not going to be easy all the time. It's something about them. It's a realization that's coming over them, that's taking them by storm. It's like maybe you all separated or maybe you all weren't taking each other seriously or maybe you were ready to call it quits, but your person all of a sudden was just like walking down the street, doo -doo -doo -doo, just walking down the street, just minding my own business, just holding my sword up. Oh shit, where's my queen of swords? Can't stop thinking about her or him. And your person is pushing today, yes, because that gift, this is a gift from the universe. Why can't we just do this? Like, and it ain't even with no past pains, past hurts, or you got to apologize to me or nothing like that. It's like, okay, the truth of the matter is a love like this only comes once in a lifetime. Just say, yeah. And so in regards to y'all, what they thinking about is saying yes and coming to get your ass wherever you is and bringing something. And I hope you get that box from Tiffany's. I'm just saying, I ain't really big on all that shit, but I hope you get it. So yeah, that's what they're thinking. So that's what I have for you. You want to follow me over on Instagram? The name is the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. If you want to follow me on Facebook, the name or the group is the Braveheart Experience. And if you want to follow me on TikTok where I post daily readings, the name is the Red Pill Pusher. But if you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know I'm lost too, you ain't got it. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. These readings good as shit today. I almost didn't even do one because I didn't have enough time. I'm glad I did because they good as hell. All right, universe. People who chose reading number three. What is that person thinking about in regards to them? What is that person thinking about in regards to them, universe? Please make these messages as simple as possible. Five of swords. So I'll never keep a secret and I'll never tell a lie. I only want to. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I be fucking up lyrics. Just hush. The Empress. If you want to go, I want you to know that I would die for you. Even lay down my life for you, girl. Six of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Four of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Let's clarify these messages. Universe people who chose the thinking man. Forever and ever and ever. Now I want to sing. You got that whip appear. Come on and lay it on me. Better than love. Sweet as can you got. Oh, you got. Oh, you got. All right, what are they thinking? What are they thinking regarding them, universe? Is that person thinking regarding them, two of air? <laughs> Balance? Whoa. I'm taking them. Ten of earth and fear. Five of air. Bottom, ooh. Bottom of the deck, eight of five. Through the fire. To the limit, to the wall, for a chance to be. I met Shaka Khan in the airport. She's short as hell. She was getting her bags. She was right in front of me getting her bags. And I was like, it is an honor to just stand next to you. You are a legend. And she just looked at me and said, thank you, baby. And I ain't asked for an autograph or nothing. I just, I had to catch a plane. I ain't starstruck like that. But it was an honor to stand next to her to get my bag. So, what is your person thinking? Your person has hurt you. And if that don't resonate, take your ass on. Your person has hurt you. Your person is thinking about the pain that they've caused you by being blocked to you. 
by being guarded to you, by shielding themselves from you, by holding back from you, by not expressing love to you. And you were wide open, nose wide open, arms wide open, heart wide open. Something else might have been wide open, busted it open. Okay. But anyway, I mean, wide open. You were wide open. You were there for them, nurturing them, um, came, came to them or were brought to them completely balanced with a lesson of balance for them, you know, spiritual insight. Your person is missing you right now and they're missing the connection that you all have and the stability that you offer them. Your person is wanting to come back around and reground this thing, but your person is terrified that you will reject them because whatever pain they cause right here by holding back from you, by not offering you their heart, by um, causing, uh, wreaking havoc on a relationship or the situationship, by just doing things out of spite, um, creating uh, discord just because they were bored, um, not prioritizing you. They were doing things it, it, and it really was self-sabotage. They were doing things to you, holding themselves back from you. And anytime you would get super close to them, they would, they would chop you. They would cut you. They would hurt you in some kind of way. And, and they could do it with a smile on their face. They had mastered self-sabotage, mastered it. And, and they can't stop. That's at the forefront of their mind. I was, I was gifted with this empress who was, who brought balance into my life, who was there for me, who was nurturing, who, who was home to me. How is this not home? Look at these two beings in these cards. How is this not home? Hmm? And there was a, there was, um, there was a knowingness that you were there for them. You were always there for them, no matter what. You were always there to lift them up, to help them feel better about themselves, to you know um, motivate them, to inspire them. Whatever they needed you to be, you were it. Whatever they needed for the day, you were it. You believed in them. You exalted them. You you just loved them so unconditionally. The universe has been watching all of this. There are black birds in here. I don't know if a raven or a crow is your spirit animal, but there are black birds in here. And so um, they say that shamans shape shift into ravens or crows and become messengers. And this particular situation got to a certain point and it was stopped because this person was adamant about hurting you and they had absolutely no reason and they also had no right to do that. And that's the universe saying, you had no right to treat this person like this that I gifted you with. How dare you? This person got taken off of Santa's list. This person was just like, this person... And it's not a matter of this person losing physically. This person lost the, the remnants of their soul that you were brought back into their life as a sign that there's still hope. And so the universe yanked you away and the universe is very much aware of your pain, but you're protected now. You're protected from all of this self-sabotage now. And they yanked you out fast. So whatever happened to separate you all or whatever the case may have been, it was sudden. And this person has been waiting for you to reach back out to them. This person has been waiting for you to do what you've always done, to be there for them, to, to provide for them, to give to them, right? To lift them up, to exalt them, to do whatever it takes. That cycle is gone, homie. It's gone. And so this person is, is, has been manifesting you. But what this person needs to focus on is this breakthrough that's up on them. 
because this person, Ace of Cups, or Ace of Earth again, or Ace of Coins again, this person wants their Queen of Cups back, their Empress back. But this person is has been slowly making their way through these lessons, but is doubtful because of the pain that they've caused you. And it ain't even a matter of if you will reject them. It's like this person is crawling, kneeling, flat on a face before the universe, begging and pleading, please give me another chance. Please, please. I see the error in my ways. Please don't, please don't do this. I want to cry right now. Like, please don't do this. And the universe is like, I didn't do nothing. You did. And when are you going to take responsibility for that? Fully. And so really what this person is thinking about is the pain that they've caused you. And the, the, the energy that they are receiving back now, the natural law of cause and effect because of what they've done to you. You don't do that. And they're wanting to come back to you, but they know that they have to balance out some karma before they're able to be in your presence again because they are receiving their karmic retribution for how they behaved. And they were adamant, nasty, self-sabotager, self-saboteur, nasty. And they knew damn well what they were doing. But this person has bigger issues. It's not that this person wanted to intentionally hurt you. This person has bigger issues. This is bigger than you or your person. And that's really why you were brought into their lives so that they could get an opportunity to, to recalibrate themselves, to rebalance themselves, to refocus themselves, to come back to the light because they had gone too far over into the dark side. But they was, they was cool. They was like, shoot, I already know Darth Vader is my father. You ain't got, ain't got to go over there. I'm cool. Oh, okay. You don't want to be a Jedi? Okay. And so this person is having a hard awakening. This is about a spiritual awakening. This person is coming into the understanding of who and what they truly are. And that's what this person is thinking about. It's, it's not so easy of just showing back at your door at this point. This is, a, this is about, it's not a matter of just showing back up at your door. This is about them changing all these things that they were telling everybody else you just gonna have to accept me how i am because i'm not changing this is who i am this is a fixed sign kind of shit no they have to now they've been humbled and they were humbled by you being removed from their life by not honoring the gift that was the two of you this person is coming back they just got some work to do they got to right some wrongs, quote unquote. They got to right some wrongs. And that's what they're thinking about. And they're, they're terrified that it's taking too long and that you ain't going to be there. See, this person wants to pick up speed. They're terrified you're not going to be there, that you're going to be gone because of the pain that they've caused you. This pain that they've caused you is causing them the same pain now, the heartache, the loss, the what am I doing wrong? I don't understand. They they are reaping what they sow. They are immersed in what they caused you before. This pain that they put on you is on them now. Why? Because you ain't there. And if y'all drop down into my comments gloating over that shit, you will be deleted immediately and blocked because that's not what we do here at the Braveheart Tribe. This person is suffering the same way they made you suffer. So they have no choice but to think about what they've done. And they are remorseful, immensely remorseful. 
So that's what they're thinking about. So that's what I have for you guys. If you want to follow me on TikTok, the name is The Red Pill Pusher, where I post daily messages. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, I'm The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. But if you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know I'm lost too, just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.